Because of the new data from the CDC, rising COVID cases and hospitalizations, uh, Alameda County now is bringing the indoor mask mandate back. The mask mandate went into effect at midnight. Crown Force Will Tran is live at the Oakland International Airport to talk about the new rules. Hi, Will. I got to tell you, Alameda County probably forgot to tell Oakland International Airport that it went into effect because we are here this line stretches out the door. This is not the arrival line. This is the line for people getting through the doors, getting in line to get through the security checkpoints. Look for yourself. Look at this. Most of the people don't even have their mask on, probably don't even know what's going on because there are no signs in front, either paper or digital, that says masks now required. They made a point to tell the media yesterday that it would go into effect at 12.01 a.m., but they didn't pass the message along, at least to the people walking in. So you can't blame them, and nobody's walking around telling them they have to mask up. Either they don't have the personnel, or they simply don't know about the new law that's for Alameda County only. As far as the mask mandate, well, Alameda County saw the numbers. They are seeing a surge in cases very similar to what they saw last year with the Delta variant and then the Omicron variant that they decided yesterday it is time to ask people to mask up when they're indoors. They did not specify exactly where indoors, but if you see what happened last year, it was probably gyms, any place indoors, more than likely the restaurants and of course the airports but you don't see a lot of people wearing their masks we got a chance to talk to some health officials they're saying this probably won't work and putting back mask mandates probably isn't going to make a difference i think recommending people who are vulnerable to wear strong masks is the best approach but alameda county is pretty alone in the in the country right now in putting back mask mandates Okay, so the key word is alone, because if you leave Alameda County, you go to SFO, for example. You have to wear a mask because SFO requires that, but if you go to walk around San Francisco and you go indoors, you're not required. If you go to Contra Costa County, you're not required. So they are surrounded by all the other counties not requiring masks indoors, but in Alameda County, you have to. So that's why the health officials are saying, yeah, it probably won't work, but it is still the law of the land as far as Alameda County is concerned. If you have a child in school, that is not requ required K through 12, especially since school is letting out any day now. Also, if you have a youth or summer program, however, it looks like your child will be required to wear a mask indoors. How long this lasts? Well, according to Alameda County, they did not specify the date. But they obviously didn't pass the word along to Oakland International Airport because being the eyes and ears of the public, I got to tell you, I don't see any signs, anybody telling people this is the law of the land about five hours now in effect back to you yeah a lot of people probably waking up this morning not aware that this has been yeah. reinstated so we'll see we'll we, see how things we go need some signs always out there. keep a mask in your back pocket you never yeah. know when you're gonna thank have you. to be asked to put it on thank you will 507 the time mask gathering